Welcome to the TweetAdder 4.0 overview video. Let's get started. What's new in TweetAdder 4.0? TweetAdder now uses Twitter's official OAuth API to perform all of its functions. TweetAdder also now has live, real-time search results, improved search options and filters, and new unfollow filtering options. To follow along with this video, you will need to download TweetAdder as well as have a registration key from a purchase. These are the download and purchase links to do so. Once you have purchased TweetAdder and received your registration code, you will need to register your copy of TweetAdder. This is done on the registration page. Simply add your registration code to this field and hit activate license. For this video, we've already added our registration code and it is grayed out. Next, you will want to add your Twitter account to TweetAdder. This is done on the Manage Users page. To add a Twitter account to TweetAdder, you highlight the registration code and then enter your Twitter username. For the purpose of this video, we will be using Twitter user CoffeeMac99. And then you click the Add User button. And up pops the official Twitter authorization window. This is new in TweetAdder 4 as TweetAdder now uses Twitter's official OAuth API. We enter our Twitter username and password, and we scroll down and click on Authorize App. TweetAdder now has access to use your Twitter account. You're also provided a PIN, which is automatically added into this field. Then we just click Submit. Your Twitter account has been officially added to TweetAdder at this point. Next, to start using TweetAdder, we need to open a user. We do this on the Overview tab. Click Overview, and listed will be all the users you have associated with this install of TweetAdder. You can open a user several ways. You can just double click on the username here. You can highlight it and click Open User. Or you can click op this Open User icon and select from the drop down. First we're going to go over the account section. This is where some basic settings and features for TweetAdder are housed. Um, first you have the basic settings, then you have a blacklist which is a list of accounts you never want to follow or interact with. There's a whitelist which is a list of accounts you wish to protect and never unfollow the account's list of followers, and the list of users the account follows. Next we're going to get into the meat of the program, finding and following users with like-minded ideas and interests. To build a solid Twitter follower list, first you must find and follow people who share your same interests. To perform a basic tweet search, click on Tweet Search in the sidebar, Fill in your keywords. Normal search operators are in play here. Um, fill in any of the additional search options you would like and then click search now. Once you perform any search, TweetAdder will display live real-time results. And from this search result, you can do three things. You can follow this user, you can add them to the list to follow later, or you can discard the user from this list. And to follow a user, you just click on follow, and then the list is updated. This action allows for easy, one-click processing of multiple accounts. You can see here the number of results you have. And down here are some basic options for this uh, function. Now the type of search we just did is a tweet search. This will literally search the tweets of other users. But TweetAdder has many more search options and powerful features. We can search on the profile data of another user by keywords, location, number of followers, with uh, images instead of default images, language, etc. We can also do a location search, which is great for local businesses or local social. 
You can also search the followers of a user. The list of users followed by a user. And then lastly, Twitter lists. All these searches work the same and will we'll display the real-time results. For another example, we will do a profile data search. We're going to do the keywords coffee lover in an exact search operator. Um, we want somebody with at least 200 followers and at least 200 updates. Profiles with default images? No. We'll do a search now. And we get the same type of real time live results, which again are very easy to process with one click. I can add these to the follow later list. I can follow these users now. And I can discard them from the user list. Also in this section are the follow back features. The follow back feature allows you to follow back any users who currently follow you. This is another good method to increase your Twitter follower count. Click on the follow back link in the sidebar. And first of all, you notice this can be automated. This means if you turn the automation on, this feature will automatically run as long as the program is open. And down here are the settings for the automation maximum followbacks per day, the time delay, and a ratio check. Also, you can follow back users on demand or now. You limit the number of users to set and click start and then it'll follow these delay settings. Also in this grouping of function is the follow later list, which is the list of users that you have selected to follow later when you're doing searches and the follow back list. These are potential users you could follow back if they are following you but you are not following them. Next we're going to take a look at the unfollow user section. The unfollow user section allows you to clean up your Twitter follow list. Keeping a tidy follow list allows you to follow more people who are relevant to your niche or interest. There are several options and reasons when searching for potential candidates to unfollow. Once you return a list of users to potentially unfollow, you can either unfollow this user or whitelist them. And this window, search window, has the same type of one-click action for easy processing. Unfollow, whitelist. There are several listings or categories of potential unfollow candidates. Users who are not following me back. Users who unfollowed me. Users with no profile image. Foreign language a high follow to follower ratio, inactive, too talkative, or too quiet. The next section we will take a look at is the tweet section. Tweet Adder has the ability to send out tweets on behalf of your Twitter account. And there's three ways we can do this. We can do straight tweets, tweets from an RSS feed, and retweets. First we will take a look at the tweet section. And the first thing we notice is this can be automated. And when this automation is on, TweetAdder will send out tweets based on your settings down here from a pre-filled out list of tweets. Now you can add your tweet text here and you can tweet it now in an on-demand type scenario or you can add it to this current list. Next is tweets from an RSS feed. Again we notice this has automation which means that TweetAdder will automatically send out tweets from an RSS feed based on these settings here. To add an RSS feed, you simply add the RSS feed URL here and click Add RSS Feed. You can options are here to include the title and add a prefix or a suffix and include the description. Lastly, there are retweets. And this is basically you automatically retweeting another user. If you turn this automation on, TweetAdder will send out retweets of predetermined users. To add a user, you simply type in their Twitter username here, and you have the option to add a keyword, which means you only get retweets when that person talks about a particular subject. 
The next section we will take a look at is the Messages section. TweetAdder has the ability to send out automated thank you messages to new followers. This is a good method to reach out to new users, share a short message, or even a link. This feature can be automated by clicking this button here. To add a thank you message, simply type it in the field here. Click Add and TweetAdder will automatically send that message to any new followers you get as long as the program is running. Next, we can send out direct messages in bulk. To send out a message, simply add the text of your message here, select your settings of how many followers to send this to, click Add, and then click Start. And TweetAdder will automatically send that message out to the predetermined number of followers. This concludes the TweetAdder 4.0 overview video. Thank you for watching.